I played, you could, there was guys with lots of speed, but you could get in their way a little bit and slow them down. Whereas today with the speed, they can take a run at you and put you through the boards. And that's where a lot of injuries are coming from. Skate sharpening has become a huge factor in the game. It's made hockey a lot faster. Uh, they used to not sharpen their skates maybe once every two weeks. Now you see the guys in the NHL having them sharpened in between periods. Equipment. Gloves, for example. If you look at these gloves here, you had a chance to protect your wrists with your gloves being cut off here now the uh, the guys consequently that padding only comes down so far and guys are getting hit here and you see a lot of wrist injuries and that kind of stuff <laughs> shoulder pads elbow pads uh even the pants they're all lighter uh kind of taking weight off weight off your body. The less weight you have with your equipment, uh, with your skates, and you're gonna fatigue not as fast and you're gonna last a full three periods in the game. You know, like when I wore a pair of hockey pants, all you had was two pieces on the front of your leg. Shin pads weren't very much. Skates, as you can see over here, they uh, didn't have a whole lot of protection in them and uh, the support in the leather skates after a while would wear out and we used to take and stitch them. You take the skate and they used to take and stitch this back and forth to strengthen the ankle. And as you can see in this skate, it's got a lacquer put on it. Bear, Bearcat, Bearcat Murray would take the lacquer and uh, fix up all the skates for all the boys with the Calgary uh, Centennials when he was the trainer uh, for that club. The new skates, the support in the ankle, all throughout the boot, the toe cap on the skate, uh, even as far as it goes the whole there, just the whole stability uh, in the ankle, around the whole foot, arch support. Also great for defensemen, even forwards coming out to the blue line to, to stop shots or block shots. Uh, the boots, I mean, it's going to be the boots going to break first before your ankle, which is a good thing. Uh, protection is great. Even you see some like this skate here with the hard toe cap or even this skate, you can take a puck in there and it won't, you'll hurt, but it won't, it won't break anything like it used to would put you out for a couple weeks. Hockey sticks, these composite, you're forever seeing them snap, break. You look at uh, Al McGinnis, there's a fine example. He would take that slap shot and Kelly Harudi, that was hilarious. He jumped out of the way, ducked, because he could boom the puck. And that was with a wooden stick, these composite sticks. You give him a little tap, the guy goes to the, the box for two minutes for slashing because he broke the guy's stick. They wind up for a slap shot, they end up with two or three pieces laying on the ice. With a wooden stick, they stay together, and you didn't hardly ever see them break the odd time they would break. Newer equipment uh, these days, it's lighter. Uh, they've started to going away from just the hard plastic shell that they used to put on. Uh, it's not very shock absorbent, and it caused a lot of injuries. Uh, you, Put a hard plastic elbow on someone it's almost a weapon like the the padding in the shoulder pads now is a hard plastic if they went back to the softer shoulder pads uh the softer elbow pads i think that would help uh these young guys out from you know when a guy does take an elbow uh it's not going to hurt as much harder ice the faster softer ice the slower but it's kind of a uh, got to find the happy medium too soft you're going to be sinking in it's going to be slushy you're going to be slow trying to get your feet back out of the ice 
uh, too hard of ice. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of chippy. You see some of the outdoor games, it, the ice almost, it doesn't shave away like it should. It, it, it's, it chips away. I don't think the size of the equipment is, is uh, making the goaltenders better. I know the goaltenders, like when I played, they, you didn't see too many six foot, six foot five, six foot seven goaltenders. And you didn't see a lot of that butterfly uh, position. They were stand up goaltenders, you know, drop the pads, do a two pad stack to the side one way or the other. Um, with these large goaltenders, uh, you know, six foot five, six foot six, they get down and butterfly, spread their legs out and their top of their bodies covering the top of the net. So, you know, there again, it's development, the size of the kids. Um, I don't really think that it's a big issue. You know, sure, some of the pads got a little bigger and a little tall, and the NHL and, and throughout all the leagues, they've cut down to make, you know, a specific size. And, you know, if you can get the puck by the goalie, you're going to get the puck by the goalie. They used to grind off the heel and the toe of the skate, kind of almost like a rocking chair. People didn't have very much balance. It's a big factor of why the helmet came into play in hockey. If you take like this blade here, if you grind off that toe, you grind off that heel, you're just gonna fall back, you're gonna fall forward, you're not gonna have very much balance. Whereas the new blades these days, they come with that kind of length. I mean, you have balance on the front end, the toe, on the front end, the heel, and it's overall fastest, faster blade. I'd like to see them go back to some of the old style gloves, shoulder pads, um, but I don't think that'll happen. It'll probably develop into uh, lighter equipment again. Uh, I hope less plastic and more padding per se. Um, hopefully it, uh, that, you know, that it'll help some of these players because of the speed of the game. It is, you know, phenomenal now and guys are getting taken out and I don't think the equipment's protecting them enough. So hopefully that they'll develop something that will protect them a little better with the speed of the game and the changing of the rules that they're changing now.